students. We are right now in front of the building of the Diagnostic and Medical uh, Clinic called Centrum in Shedze. We're going to carry out the interview with one of their employees. We want to know how the clinic works as a workplace for to hire around 600 people. Let's, Let's go, go inside. inside. Now we are at our um, X-ray diagnostic center. We've got uh, mammography uh, uh, facility and RTG facility. Uh, we make different kinds of, of diagnostic here. For example, breasts, uh, mammographies on, or other uh, RTG uh, photos. So this facility is the newest uh, in Shenzhen. It was uh, bought and uh, started working uh, two months uh, ago. Here we got our laboratory center, uh, some employee in our laboratory center. Uh, we make different kinds of, of analysis of, uh, of diagnostics uh, for our patients and also, and also for other patients from our region. And now we enter the other room in our laboratory. Uh, this is our main room in our laboratory that we make different kinds of, of analysis. <laughs> now we are in the part of our building that, uh, that specialists um, have visits. We have a wide range of specialists in our medical center above uh, 12, uh, I'm sorry, about 20 specialists uh, in different, different kinds. So now we are at our office part of our uh, medical diagnostic center. Uh, this is the, uh, the room of our CEO and he uh, works here every day. <laughs> So we are in the part of our medical center that, uh, that provides uh, medical services for, for children take care of them. Good afternoon, we are Aleksandra Wolska and Valina Cisłak. Good afternoon, my name is Tomasz Wodarczyk, I'm a financial analyst here in the Medical Diagnostic Center. We are very glad that you agree to answer some questions regarding your work experience uh, in this company and we want to ask you some questions. Yes, of course. It's a pleasure for me. So, let's start from the selections of foreign workers. Mm -hmm. do, you uh, do you apply uh, employ foreign applicants? Uh, yes, of course. The Medical Diagnostic Centre and the short for CMD uh, employs foreign applicants. Uh, now we employ about uh, 10 of, of uh, foreign um, employees. Mm, well, uh, how can they apply? Uh, they can apply via email or by fax. The crucial thing is to, to prepare curriculum vitae and the cover letter. And those documents can be sent via email or by fax. So there is no need to, to come here in person. Okay, but what is the difference between a real job interview and an interview for the internship? Well, frankly speaking, there is no difference uh, as I have taken part in uh, several job interviews. Those for internships and those for, for real jobs, there is no, no difference. Uh, of course, taking into account that uh, the knowledge and uh, the competencies are different. But all the interviews are uh, complex and, and uh, comprehensive. Okay. Um, what are other different uh, requirements uh, which are needed for foreigners? Mm -hmm. uh, due to the fact that we operate in the medical sector, there's, uh, there's a need to have a special right to, to practice uh, medical professions. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Okay, and do, do you receive any other bonus for, uh, for that uh, foreign employees? Like, uh, uh, do you provide free accommodation or something like this? No, no there is no such thing for the company. Okay, so let's move to another uh, question. Uh, what about the selection of the applicants? 
Uh, from which generation do you choose your trainees? As for trainees, most of them are after their studies. So let's see. Um, that's the usual, the usual age and the usual mm -hmm. stage of, of, of life in our, for our trainees. And how do you select them? What uh, is the choosing process? Mm -hmm. I would say that it's a, it's a usual um, um, selection process. Uh, first of all, we post the job ad uh, for, for the internship at uh, local newspapers or mm -hmm. at uh, job ad portals. Then uh, we collect applications. Then our HR department um, provides and, and, uh, a short list of candidates after the short preliminary analysis. When, then we organize interviews and after these interviews our HR department decides which candidate should be offered an internship. Uh, the final decision is always accepted by our CEO and our vice CEO. Okay, but what is uh, what kind of diploma is needed for this internship? There is no requirements. Uh, there are no usual requirements to have a diploma uh, to to take part and to to have an internship in our company. For sometimes there are specific requirements, but generally there is no requirement. Okay, and um, is any language exam necessary? Uh, no, we, we don't have such requirements because there's no need to, to, to know um, foreign language now. Okay, but what mm -hmm. are other skills uh, that should the applicants have? Mm -hmm. I think that uh, no, uh, maybe no, but uh, it depends on the post that, uh, that the uh, internship is organized. Mm -hmm. But in general, I think that uh, empathy, maybe good communicational skills. Are crucial. And do they need any for former experience? Uh, no, there are no, there are no such requirements of a former experience. Okay. Uh, and how can we get more information about this program? Mm -hmm. Those who want to apply. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, um, we publish um, job ads at uh, our local newspaper and job ad portals also at our website and our Facebook profile, so we can find information um, by these four ways. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now my friend Mihalina will ask you some questions. Okay. Uh, so well, how long does the internship last? Uh, usually it takes uh, two months to, for, for the internship. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do the Chinese get salary? Uh, unfortunately, most of the uh, internships are unpaid, but sometimes we have programs that the internships, uh, the trainees uh, have normal usual salary. Uh, do they receive any other bonus or benefits? No, there are no bonuses and other benefits for, for trainees. Yeah, okay. Do they get subsidized postgraduate courses or vocational training? Unfortunately, the, the answer is the same as previous. No, there are no such things. Okay. What about the working hours and timetable? Uh, working hours are standard usual as for for usual uh, employees. So it's uh, seven hours, seven point thirty point five uh, hours for medical uh, staff and eight hours for the other staff. Mm, and does the company offer a position after the internship? If there is a need to uh, to hire such a person and the, the trainee uh, showed high competencies, yes, of course, it could be, if he could be or she or she could be offered the job. Okay. Uh, can the trainees get references from the company? Yes, of course. If they need, we can provide them with detailed references. Okay. And how many trainees do you employ during the one program? Uh, we don't have a big program for, for trainees. We just uh, search for specific candidate for for specific job. So, so I would say that uh, there is no program, but we uh, just search for one candidate for one job. So. Okay, I see. Thank you for the interview. It was great to learn something about your job, uh, your experiences. Uh, we are glad that we organized this this meeting. Have a good day. Thank you very much. Thank you. So thank you for your attention, you, you can uh, see how the, the centrum uh, works, uh, how you can get the internship in this company and we 
hope that you enjoyed our interview.